Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a first impression unboxing of my Curity steamer. I've never used a steamer on my hair, although I did go to the Beautiful Salon in Atlanta. I did get there about 15 minutes late, so I was unable to get the steaming portion of the service. So in a second here, you guys are going to see me with freshly washed hair. And the main purpose of this video is to let you guys know if I noticed any significant results between using the steamer and deep conditioning my hair or using the hooded dryer, walking around with a shower cap on, or even a plastic bag and using my body heat to generate that same deep conditioning effect. So before I get into all that, I'll go ahead and do the unboxing portion of this video. It comes in a brown box like this and I got mine fairly quickly. I think I got it within the same week of ordering it. I did order mine on Amazon. Inside you get an instruction manual and then you also get a card from the inventor and the founder of q Redo. And then inside the box is just the steamer itself. And just so you guys have an idea of where my hair is at, it's been two weeks and three days since I did get it flat ironed. Starting on freshly washed hair, I've already applied my deep conditioner, which is the Shea Moisture Mungungo and Hemp Seed Mask. And it says 30 minutes, but I'm only going to do 15. So as you guys can see, when you first plug it in, it's going to be a flashing red light. And when it's ready for use, it will be a solid red light. So I just pushed down these combs. I'm inspecting the steamer because I did think that those would um, push down and through those two holes is where the steam comes out. So I definitely recommend reading your instruction manual and finding out more. This chamber is where you're going to fill it up. You're just going to remove that plastic flap, fill it up with water and close it back and it just snaps back into the steamer. So once it's ready, of course, the steam will come out and it won't come out unless you release this green button. So if you push down on it, steam will come out. And as you're steaming your hair, it does become a lot easier. It glides through the detangling process becomes very very easy so you just have to work your way in sections and just keep going back over it and repeat the same process on both sides until it just runs through your hair very easily this is something I would definitely not recommend I did burn my scalp doing this I definitely recommend moving the steamer through the hair and not concentrating in one area so you guys can go ahead and see there's a lot of shrinkage it's drastically different from when I started which is really good shrinkage is good and I this is towards the end. I'm just using the remaining water in the chamber to steam my face because I didn't want to store my steamer with water still in the chamber. So I'm just doing this um, until I'm completely out of water in the chamber. And this is just to show you guys my curl pattern once I'm finished. So you guys, this is once I have finished steaming my hair. I did refill the little chamber two times just because I wanted to make sure that I went the full 15 minutes. On the package, it did say deep conditioning your hair for 30 minutes, but that's if you're wearing a shower cap. So I just cut it in half because I am using something that does apply a little bit of um, higher heat than my actual body heat. As you guys can see, I definitely did experience some shrinkage all over. There were a few pieces when I washed my hair I did notice that were straight at the end. However, when I used the steamer, they curled right back up so I was very concerned that I did have some heat damage but those have completely gone away so I'm really really happy about that. Normally my hair clumps together in big chunks of curls and big chunks of frizz but I did notice that my hair has separated out into more individual curls. I didn't want to leave any water remaining in the chamber so I went ahead and used the leftover water and steamed my face so this is definitely something you can use as a part of your hair care routine and your skincare routine. The final thing that I noticed is that my hair is a lot shinier so something that I can definitely get used to with having shinier hair because my hair typically has a very dull luster. As you guys saw, I did try and detangle my hair using the steamer and I got a tiny little bit of shedding in that process. So you guys, that is pretty much everything. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, like the video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. <laughs>